Hey folks, Aaron with Otter Creek Farm heading out to the new property. So I told you there were some big changes coming and the big change is that we sold the uh, we sold the first piece of property which was 46 acres and uh, actually bought the property right next door which is 32 acres. It has more dry land and an open field and I think from a usable land standpoint it's going to be about the same amount of usable land uh, still surrounded by the same swampy areas and there are some swampy areas on the property uh, so the wildlife and the hunting should be just as good but we'll have more open and dry land that can be utilized for uh, different things so uh, we're heading out today to do some land clearing in preparation for uh, you know getting a camp set up uh, there's nothing there now except the old deer stand so we are clearing the land uh, so he is pulling the palmetto trees out, knocking down some trees for me, uh, you know, trying to create that footprint that we need to bring in some cargo containers which are then going to get uh, converted into storage and uh, living shelters. So we've got an absolute ton of work to do. It's going to take a long time. I'm just trying to get the basics done now where I can get the uh, cargo container in place and get moved out of the other property, which conveniently is only uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's literally right next door. The two properties touch, so the, the driveways are 100 yards apart, if that. And, uh, you know, so the move will be fairly easy. Uh, but it's got to get done because the new owner needs to have their place. And uh, they've graciously allowed us some time to, to get moved out. So heading in to work on things, get things settled, and uh, we'll get the drone up and let you take a look at the new property. And uh, I'll show you around a little bit. Stay tuned. All right, so here is our old place. And if you look over there, you can see the driveway and that's actually the driveway to our new place. So when I say we move next door, uh, it's not 100 yards, it's about 50 yards. So we're gonna go up there and do a little tractor maintenance and get started. Here's the commute to next door. And here we are. There's the tractor. So we are here.
All right, so this is where camp's going. You can see the orange flag over there. And there's a road that goes off to the next property. So uh, we're leaving a hedgerow here and then working in behind it so the camp is not visible or nearly as visible from the field. So when we come in, um, we'll be able to get in here and, and kind of be quiet and it won't wreck the view that we're gonna have out here. Uh, the animals won't be as likely to see us either. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is push back the uh, the scrub oak back through that area and uh, the bomb of lights gonna take care of that for us I'll probably start right there since it's already got a little indent but then just start cutting back in there cut a road in and then cut another field in the back so we have like a shotgun or a archery uh, set up and then uh, we've got an, a tree stand down there which is uh, serviceable needs to be fixed up a little bit but not too bad and then uh, you saw in the beginning of the property which is over there uh, there is a uh, nice dry area which would be a good place to set up a stand back over here we don't have too far to go behind us there's a cypress swamp and then the neighbors property is uh, you know through the tree line that way so this is what we're working with we'll get the drone up and uh, get an aerial view of what's going on good for the record but also to show some of the progress that we're going to be making. Here we are disking uh, to work on that final, final grade. Air two. So this is uh, this is going to be a good idea to do it now. So when the rains come, it'll help smooth it out. All right, so what we're doing now is taking a soil sample. We're trying to see if there's any limestone below this topsoil. Uh, so far, we've got about four feet of actual topsoil, which I'm not complaining about because that's often hard to find, but having some limestone available for projects is, uh, you know, is super handy to have it available instead of having to truck it in. So. Hopefully we'll be able to keep the pond as preserved as we can, but we're also going to act, you know, uh, probably increase the pond size by maybe four times. That's my goal. And uh, have part that's deep and then have part that is shallow for uh, like a duck pond. So uh, Adam just created a little ramp that he's gonna use to really reach into the bottom of the pond and, and see what he can pull out. See what kind of material we're getting. So here we go. actually pretty deep. There's some it's mostly like sand. No limestone in that. Just good white Florida sand. Not gonna make much of a road out of that. The problem with that kind of sand is there's nothing that binds it together. So when you drive on it and it's wet, it just is a it's a mess. 